I just have to say, lasers are so cool. This is the X-Tool D1 from Bankblock. And this is a bad other diode laser. It's so cool that it starts to bridge the gap between CO2 lasers and diode lasers in terms of what it can do and its power output. Because there's so many lasers to choose from, presentation and what you're given for your money is extremely important. And I think X-Tool knocked it out of the park. Check out the unboxing and the assembly of the laser. This is a diode laser that features a 10 watt diode, although they have a five watt version as well. And it is probably the nicest diode laser I've seen. It's the one that feels and looks most like a finished product. I've had the chance to use a lot of different types of lasers. So I'm really excited to use this one. I think this is my fourth laser in the shop as of right now. So I do have a little bit of experience in taking a look at using lasers and reviews. This setup right here features a 17 by 16 inch cutting area. And they send you two sets of these risers right out of the box. They get stacked underneath the machine that will raise it up. The model they sent me is the 10 watt model and it is a really good and powerful laser. But they also have a 20 watt laser module coming out that'll be released in shipping soon. And if that wasn't enough to get excited about, it also comes with a rotary module. So you do cups, mugs, stainless steel, anything that is cylindrical right here out of the box. There's an extra port on the board underneath to plug into, and you're set to go. Something that a lot of other lasers don't include in the box. It is a little bit higher cost, but I think it's definitely worth it. And I really like the setup and the design they chose for this rotary. Now the D1 lacks an onboard camera that some really high-end lasers offer, but in a lot of ways you don't need it. Mainly because it's really easy to focus, it's really easy to set up, but it does have built-in wireless. So you don't always have to be tethered to the machine to run it and set up your engraver cut, which is really nice. But if you want to have a direct connection to the machine, you have that option as well. So pretty much the best of both worlds. The only thing you don't get is a camera, but if a camera is really important to you, you could probably set up some sort of webcam or you know Pi cam and do some sort of time lapse or monitoring that way. But in all reality, whenever you're running a laser like this, and almost any laser, probably shouldn't be too far away from it anyways, just as a safety issue. So. While you can get everything set up remotely, we still probably should be in front of the machine or close by while it's actually running anyways. So for myself, I don't think the absence of a camera is that big of a deal. If you're looking for some of the detailed technical info about the laser, the laser dot from this module measures about 0.08 millimeters, which is a pretty fine dot where a lot of others is seeing about 0.15. And what that really means is a lot more detail as possible in your engravings. The XTOOL advertises a wide variety of materials that can be engraved with this machine, including wood, MDF, leather, cardboard, paper, acrylic, metal, although they don't say what kind of metals other than mentioning stainless steel, but we'll have to run some tests to see what passes an engraving in their book because other diode lasers simply mark the metal and don't really engrave into it. So we'll have to test that with this one. The XTOOL has its own proprietary software called LaserBox, and it's a pretty good piece of software. It has all the basics and all the drawing tools that you could possibly need to get up and going. It doesn't have a lot of the deep features that other more advanced and paid software has, but it has 
probably about 80% of what you need in your day-to-day -day work. Now, if you're a pro, if you've been using lasers for a long time, and you really like to get into the weeds in terms of dialing in settings, and powers, and feeds, and a lot of stuff that are not common settings, then Xtola has also built in functionality for this to work with Lightburn, which is the preferred software for a lot of people using lasers. Now, just remember that Lightburn is a paid piece of software. I think it runs about $60 for the license, but you have the choice of using either piece of software with this machine. And I think that automatically makes it better than some other lasers, like one lonely one over there. So now that we've covered all the basics for the machine and some of the software, let's go ahead and start it up and see what those end results look like on a couple of various materials. So the engravings are done. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, that's better. The engravings are done and the quality is really impressive. In fact, I think the quality is better than what I've been able to get with even the high-end CO2 lasers. I didn't engrave all the materials. I did about six or seven tests of the main materials I engrave and cut on a regular basis. And based on those results, I'm gonna be using this a lot more in my shop. There are a lot of lasers to choose from out there, and they're all battling for your dollars. Most people will probably, if they're in the laser market, will probably only have one laser that they could dedicate some funds to getting and setting up in their shop. So choosing that first laser is extremely important. If you have the budget, I'll do a more comprehensive comparison in another video, but if you have the budget for this, the Xtool D1, this is the one that I highly recommend. There is so much more to cover with this laser, including the rotary and the leg extensions and a couple other features that I have not yet tested, including the addition of using light burn with this laser. I'll be covering some of those topics in some upcoming videos, but in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching. I really recommend the Xtool D1. Is it a perfect laser? No, but it is damn close. There's a couple things that I wish were improved, but I'll talk about those in an upcoming video like I had mentioned. If you made it this far in the video, I wanna thank you for your time. I'm hoping you got something of value out of the information of taking a look at this machine. And I'm hoping that you'll take a look at maybe buying one for yourself. Purchases like that, pop out the channel. I have an affiliate code for the Xtool down in the description. Every little bit helps. And if you're not able to do that, we also have a Patreon with different levels of rewards to help out the channel that way if you're in a position to do so. We also have a shop with merchandise like t-shirts and other items at geekbuilders.net. So in the meantime, keep making, keep having fun. Don't forget to design, make, and play. And I'll see everybody in the next video.